From proof of a giant pharaoh to strange evidence of UFOs in ancient Japan, here are 10 incredible discoveries that scientists can't explain. Number 10. The Giant Pharaoh The absolutely bizarre skeletal remains of a man in ancient Egypt may have revealed the first known case of gigantism in the world. The crazy part about this skeleton is that it belonged to an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who lived 4,700 years ago. The skeleton was that of Sanakht, who ruled Egypt during the Third Dynasty. A team of researchers from the University of Zurich recently investigated the remains and determined that the pharaoh had indeed suffered from an overproduction of growth hormones during his childhood that led him to become a giant, meaning he had a large head, massive hands and feet, and was extremely tall. The remains themselves were actually found quite a long time ago in 1901. The bones were found buried inside of an elite tomb, and they were discovered to be about 12% larger than the average set of bones for the time. Scientists have also said that suffering from gigantism in ancient Egypt may not have had any social disadvantages, unlike in other cultures, where a person may have been persecuted for being extra large. On the flip side, it's well known that those who had dwarfism in ancient Egypt were held in high regard, as they were seen as almost mythical humans. As for why this pharaoh may have been born with the first ever genetic mutation that causes gigantism, nobody's really sure. But more research could hold clues as to how gigantism originated and if it really did come from a race of extraordinarily large people. Number 9. Finding Pan's Lair Researchers working with the University of Haifa recently uncovered a Roman getaway in Israel, near the Sea of Galilee, and some experts are saying it could be the legendary Lair of Pan. This is because archaeologists discovered a bronze mask of Pan, the Greek god, at the very location, dating back to about 2,000 years. If you're not sure who Pan is, He's often depicted as being half man and half goat, strutting about on hooves and playing his favorite instrument, the lyre. Pan is depicted in all kinds of popular culture, from the Carnicles of Narnia to Disney's Hercules. But the true god is much more mischievous than the cartoons make him out to be. He liked to play music, he allegedly caused chaos wherever he went, and words such as pandemonium and panic were even derived from his name. Pan was worshipped in ancient times through ceremonies that involved heavy drinking, sacrifices, and other hedonistic activities. But here's why this archaeological site in Israel is so fascinating. The worship of Pan was normally reserved for outside city walls in places like caves, coves, and the forest. But here there is an entire lair with multiple buildings that may have been used in the worship of this deviant god. It was a compound that researchers believe could have been dedicated to Pan. How and why is a mystery that archaeologists have yet to solve. Number 8. Mysterious Alien Statues Nuku Hiva is the largest of the Marquesas Islands located in French Polynesia. It's also the most mysterious. There are strange statues scattered all over the island, which many people believe depict beings from another world. The islands here were not populated until about 2,000 years ago, when settlers arrived most likely from Samoa. It was soon after arriving on the island that the residents of Huku Hiva began to craft statues of things that don't look even remotely human. Many people have claimed they look like reptilian humanoids, which has led some to believe that the mysterious statues are proof the ancient and lost culture of Nuku Hiva worshipped a reptilian deity and may have had an encounter with aliens thousands of years ago. Of course, not everyone believes in reptilians or aliens. These statues could certainly just be a weird artistic representation of the native people. But the truth is that the statues look stranger than anywhere else on Earth. The statues show beings with huge eyes, small hands and fingers, and preposterously large bodies. To gain inspiration for such twisted artwork, it's believed that the ancient people of Nuku Hiva would have needed to witness similar creatures. The most likely explanation is, of course, aliens. Though there's absolutely no proof of this yet. Have you ever gone to a remote island? Easter Island, perhaps? Or somewhere in the Caribbean? What did you find there? Tell me about it in the comments section down below. Then remember to subscribe to American Eye if you haven't already for more intense videos just like this one. Number 7. Ancient Mystery Skeleton while completing a survey inside a remote cave in the far north of Spain, a group of spelunkers found something they'd never expected. At the end of a dark and cramped passageway, they found a fully intact human skeleton. After its discovery, it became known as the Navarra Cave Body, and it was placed neatly on the ground beside an underground stream, with its arms folded gently across its chest. It was a deliberate burial in the darkest part of the cave that goes back 11,700 years. Believe it or not, this is one of the oldest intact skeletons ever found in Spain or throughout the entire surrounding region. The human dates back to what's known as the Pleistene Epoch, or the Last Ice Age, at the beginning of the Holocene period on Earth, which we are all currently living in. Using radiocarbon dating, researchers were able to discover that the body belonged to a young man between the ages of 17 and 21, and that he likely had died from a head wound delivered by some type of weapon. 
Like others of the time, he would have been a hunter-gatherer and lived primarily in caves found throughout the region. Don't forget, this was way before cities. The bones of the strange man were finally taken out of the cave in March of 2021 and placed into a laboratory environment. Scientists are going to try their best to trace back the stranger's ancestry, but one thing we may never know is who placed the skeleton in the very back of the cave at such a time in human history when burying the dead simply wasn't important. Number 6. The New Nazca Lines Nobody knows what's going on with the Nazca Lines. They were discovered a very long time ago in the Nazca Desert of Peru, dating back to about 2,000 years and designed by the ancient Inca. The giant geoglyphs cover an area of around 170 square miles and depict people, animals, and some things that don't quite look like they belong on the planet. Researchers have been speculating what the geoglyphs could mean ever since they were discovered, but there have been absolutely no definitive answers. The Nazca Lines are some of the most unexplainable things on the planet. And in 2019, they got even more confusing when researchers announced that they had detected 143 never-before-seen geoglyphs in the south of Peru, dating back from between 100 BC and 300 AD, and ranging in size from about 16 feet to 330 feet, 5 meters to 100 meters. One of the coolest new discoveries shows a two-headed snake feasting on humans. With these extra geoglyphs, there are now over a thousand ancient designs in the area. As for how the new drawings were found, it was thanks to researchers from Yamagata University in Japan, who used high-resolution 3D data to see the patterns etched into the floor of the desert, which otherwise would have never been detected by the human eye. The good news here is that now the Nazca lines are even more mysterious. Number 5. The Japanese UFO In Japan, stories of unidentified flying objects go back much further than most people realize. There, the phenomenon is known as Utsurobuna, which means hollow ship. There have been accounts all through the ages of strange visitors in hollow ships coming to Japan, with one of the most famous being in 1803 when a round vessel apparently washed up on the Japanese coast and a beautiful woman emerged from it wearing unknown clothing and carrying with her a mysterious box. So far as the legend goes, the woman was unable to communicate with locals and had mysterious writing scrawled across the outside of her vessel. But here's what's really crazy. According to Professor Tanaka Kazuo from the Gifu University, who's been studying ancient Japanese UFO sightings for many years, the account of the mysterious woman arriving on the Japanese coast is written of extensively in the years that follow, suggesting there's more truth to the incident than many people admit. Of course, there have been theories. Some historians have argued that the story could be an embellishment of a crashed Russian whaling ship, but no evidence of this has ever been found and no lost ships were documented in the area during 1803. And what's also very interesting is that considering how isolated Japan was all the way into the 1800s, they couldn't really have gotten the inspiration for such a tale from elsewhere. To this day, nobody knows who the woman in the hollow ship was or why she landed in Japan. Number 4. Mysterious Astronaut Statue The Cathedral of Salamanca dates all the way back to the 12th century, and yet it depicts a carving on its wall of what can only be described as an astronaut. As you can already tell, this is one of the weirdest archaeological mysteries out there. After all, how could anyone carve an astronaut back in the 12th century in Spain? This is an ancient cathedral that should definitely not have an astronaut on it. But wait, because there is actually nothing mysterious at all about this astronaut statue. Despite what you may see people saying online, this is not evidence of a time traveler or a visit from outer space. The astronaut carving was actually included in the Cathedral of Salamanca back in 1992, after we had already been to space multiple times. This is a pretty funny example of how quickly people forget things, and how gullible people can be. Near the newly carved astronaut, you can also find the carving of a dragon eating ice cream, a bull, a rabbit, and even a crayfish. Number 3. Corpse Bees An absolutely horrifying discovery was recently made in Poland, and it has left scientists scratching their heads. A human corpse was found filled with bees, wasps, and the leftovers of a squirrel. These animals had all been nesting inside the human corpse, according to Dr. Marcin Kadej from the Institute of Environmental Biology at the University of Rocklaw. The body itself was discovered purely by accident, when someone came across a dead person strung up inside some trees in a secluded spruce forest. Inside the body was the physical nest of the common wasp, a small nest of honeybees, and the nest of a squirrel. Further studies showed that the human had been stuck inside the tree for about 13 years, and yet despite all that time, his corpse was found in very good condition. It had been partly mummified, and according to the science team, his natural mummification was kind of an accident. One of the main reasons that the man didn't decompose very quickly was that he was up in the trees. He wasn't on the ground where things like foxes could pick apart his corpse. He was also protected because he was wearing pants and other clothing that sheltered him from the rain. But nonetheless, the man turned into a natural ecosystem known as a hollow, in which forest bees and wasps and squirrels could comfortably make their nests. 
This is the first recorded incident of such a thing happening. It is doubtful that the man had intended to become a mini habitat when he walked into the woods 13 years ago, but that's just how things go sometimes. Number 2. Ancient Mystery Coins Archaeologists have been faced with a monstrous mystery after a hoard of around 119 coins were discovered sealed inside of a container beneath the rubble of a collapsed building in the ancient port city of Corinth in Greece. The big mystery for archaeologists is why nobody went to retrieve the stash of cash after the building fell in on itself. According to Paul Scotton with California State University and the lead professor on the project, the question has been troubling researchers ever since. The coins were all found only about 16 inches 40 centimeters, beneath the collapsed roof tile. It was extremely close to the surface and anyone could have easily dug the coins out. Instead, the owner of the coins either didn't want to go get them back or had been unable to do so. To this day, scientists can't figure out why. When the coins were found a couple of years ago beneath the remains of the building and beside what was once a workyard, there were no human remains with them. The earliest coin inside of the hoard dates back to just after the famous death of Emperor Constantine the Great, who ruled Rome from between 306 and 337, and the most recent coins were from between 491 and 518 under the Byzantine Emperor Anastasius I. Unfortunately, how the building collapsed and buried the treasure is still unknown, and who the treasure belonged to is still a mystery. The coins may have been cursed, or the owner of the coins may have suffered some kind of horrible fate before he ever managed to retrieve them. Number 1. The Worm Statue In Florence, Italy, there's a very strange statue that appears to show some kind of worm slithering through the neck hole of a man, right where the head should be. This is at the New Sacristy, which was designed with help from the legendary painter and sculptor Michelangelo. The New Sacristy itself was built as a mausoleum for members of the infamous Medici family in Italy. But it's outside the mausoleum where this strange statue is located, inside the entrance passage. The statue was crafted by a close pupil of Michelangelo named Silvio Cassini. And while it may appear that there's a worm or some kind of leech slithering out of the man's neck, the truth is that it's just supposed to be the end of his spinal column. It looks mysterious at first glance, and it's true there's not a lot of known history about the statue, but it almost certainly wasn't designed purposefully to look like a worm. Do you think archaeologists really found Pan's lair? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and check back soon for another amazing video right here on American Eye.